bread kitchen. This week I'm going to make something a little bit special for those summer parties. It's a lovely pesto bread braided into a ring. To 300 grams of lukewarm water add one and a half teaspoons of dried yeast. Mix well and leave for 10 minutes to allow the yeast to get working. To 500 grams of a good strong bread flour add a teaspoon of salt and mix well. Make a well in the centre, add in the yeast water mix and two tablespoons of olive oil, then mix to a smooth dough. After a couple of minutes you should end up with this nice soft dough which isn't really sticky. Now knead the dough for about 10 minutes until smooth and elastic. After 10 minutes your dough should be nice and smooth and elastic. Pop the dough in a lightly oiled bowl, cover and leave in a warm place until the dough has about doubled in size. So here's my dough after about an hour and a half. I'll just turn it out onto this surface, knock it back to get all the gas out and then gather it together. Next I'm going to flour the surface so I don't want the dough sticking and now I'm going to roll the dough out to about 22 to 24 inches long and 9 inches wide. So there we go, I've rolled my dough out into this quite long rectangle. Now for the pesto you can either make your own but I'm using some ready-made pesto. I'm going to spread it all over the dough. There we go, and you can probably see I've left a little gap all the way round. Now, here comes the tricky bit. I'm going to roll this up along its long end quite loosely so it doesn't have to be tight. long sausage now. Now you can just trim the ends slightly if you wish. Square them up a bit. There's only a tiny little bit of pesto in there. Now we're going to cut this in half along its entire length. You do need a sharp knife for this. Just pull the two halves apart and then place them with the cut ends facing upwards. Now we're just going to do a simple twist braid with these. So one over the other. Then having braided it all the way along, we'll twist it into a circle. and then press the ends together. Doesn't matter if you squidge them a bit. Now I'll carefully slide this onto a greased baking tray. Then I'm going to sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese. You probably only need a couple of tablespoons. Then pop it in a large plastic bag and leave in a warm place for about half an hour. So this is now ready to bake at 200 fan oven, 220 normal oven for about 20 minutes. Then when it comes out of the oven, it looks like this. Slide onto a wire rack and leave to cool. Just cut chunks off and eat it. You don't need any butter or anything. It's a very nice light bread this and one of the problems with it is it's pretty hard to stop eating it. I hope you enjoy making your braided pesto bread and do join me next time in the bread kitchen. Mm -hmm.